Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another video for Foodgasm. Uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And for you guys who are new, thank you very much for joining. And honestly, I appreciate everyone who support me. I'm new at this. I'm not no gourmet chef, but I can do a little something, something in the kitchen. So I'm about to um, make me some breakfast, guys. Uh, I've been up all night, and then I cleaned, and I just got the shower, and, and my last step is put some food in my belly, and I'm going to sleep. Now, I have a, um, some instant pancake mix right here. You just add water in it. I prefer to use the whisk because it uh, removes all the lumps. You just get just even better with no uh, dry flour bubbles and nothing like that no drop no dry pouches okay um I'm gonna go ahead cut my burners on and get my 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 pots hot my skillets hot or whatever I'm gonna make me some sausage links to go with those pancakes and some scrambled eggs I had eggs in these cups right here, y'all. I put milk in it. And I like to season my eggs as I cook it because if I just, like, dump the salt in here and mix it up, um, I, it's real bland. The seasoning become bland because uh, the granules... The individual granules of salt, it melts down. It just melts and disappear basically. So I like to season my eggs as I'm cooking them. It holds the salt better, y'all. Let me cut my uh, fan on because it's probably get the smoke in a little bit. Now this is not mandatory for your sausage links. I like to throw butter, a little bit of butter in my skillet that I cook my links in. And it's just for taste because your sausage links actually produce its own its own its own uh oil. <clears throat> so you can just throw it in there. You can throw it in there. You don't need to add no butter, no oils or nothing. I just like to add butter. Just for taste. I'm a butter lover. So that's where I'm going to put my links at, y'all. It's just me right now, so I'm just make three of them. Any brand uh, pancake batter, sausage links, and eggs would do. Any brand butter or margarine, it doesn't matter. Any brand seasons, whatever your personal preference is, guys, you don't have to use the exact brand that I like to use. So, um, this is kind of different, y'all. I'm, I'm working on a new project that I have never tried before. You guys hear that? We're sizzling. Yep, so I'm, I'm trying something I've never tried before with my pancakes. Right here, I have some sliced bananas, y'all. I, I really need an assistant right now. And what I'm going to do is dump those fresh sliced bananas in my batter. Just the perfect, perfect uh, size, y'all. I've never done this before, so just bear with me. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be interesting. I literally am about to cry. Like, I have to put place the bananas in the skillet one at a time. So I'm heating my uh, skillet up now. For my pancakes, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and throw some butter in my skillet for my eggs. 
And when I cook, my goal is to try to get all of my dishes cooked at the same time, y'all. So that, uh, I'm trying to make sure y'all can see everything. Okay, well, it's not really working, but I do want y'all to focus on this particular skill, and I'll show y'all in a minute. So I got my bananas and my pancake batter, and I'm just mixing it up, mixing it up, mixing it up. Do it gently, y'all, so you won't uh, tear the bananas up, okay? I think this is going to be really cool. I hope it turn out as I envision. I'm not going to lie. I'm very honest. This is not my creation. I actually saw this in like a, a, a TikTok video. I have my... Okay, this one. So I'm going to try to place these in here. One at a time. I've never done this before. I don't know if my batter thick enough. I'm just experimenting with these pancakes right now, y'all. The, the idea is so yummy, though, right? The hard part about it to me is that you literally have to place one banana at a time. It's so little. If your, if your skillet all lopsided like mine, I got a perfect solution for that too. I'm going to show y'all. But just, you know, kind of rotate it. To get your uh, pan evenly buttered. So I'm going to start flipping these because they are cooking already. They're so little. It looks like it's working out so far. Can y'all picture that banana pancakes? They, they're so little, they're hard to flip over. But I think a couple of pieces lost the back. back. I just got my sausages on low so they can kind of. I'm going to go ahead and cut my skillet on for my eggs now, y'all. Let that get hot. Yeah, you got to really pay attention when you're making all these different dishes at once. It can get confusing sometimes. Look at that, y'all. What a perfect bite. That's how the uh, banana pancake turned out. So far, so good. Yeah, I feel like it's about to start smoking. I'm not even burning nothing. It's that old skillet right there. That's one of them good pants that, that's handed down from, from many generations. That's why I had no handle on it. It's like really good to cook in, but it'll spin off, off the smoke detector, y'all. So I'm opening my window. So now it's time to get my eggs in there. And don't freak out. Do not freak out, y'all. If, if it become overwhelming, if this is your first time cooking like a three-course meal like this, if it becomes overwhelming, that's fine. Just ask for help. Don't give up, though. If you're alone, just cut one of those skillets off. 
and just do one dish at a time, basically. Whatever makes you comfortable, that's the goal. They called it on TikTok. I think they called it like a banana, uh, a banana silver dollar. I'm gonna rename it an, an, uh, uh, a nana bite. <laughs> a nana cake? Uh, I'm gonna rename it a nana cake or a nana bite. How about that? Okay, my goal is to get all the last of the little cakes in here because I'm not about to do another batch they're too damn little yep I don't want to do another batch I just want to get it over with when I watch this skillet y'all when I finish uh, cooking my breakfast I'm going to show y'all what to do See, I keep doing this because my skillet, over time cooking, and heat kind of make the bottom of it pop out a little bit, so it's like uneven. And I'm going to show y'all how to fix that, because I can't keep cooking like that. It's, it, it, it works, but it's irritating. try to clean up as I go. Mother always taught me a good cook is a clean cook. And then, honestly, there's some dishes you cook, you don't have an opportunity to clean up as you go. Because you'll burn your food and cook too fast. Okay, I'm gonna cut my sausages off now, y'all. Over the last of my little banana cakes. Hmm. They're so little. It's a little irritating to flip. Maybe like next time I use a spoon. I think it's better if y'all use a spoon to flip these. Because they. They're so little. Come on, get one more. You can do it. Okay, I'll we'll bring the camera over here in a second and give you guys a better look. This is going to be a good one, y'all. I'm going to cut my, my skillet off of my eggs now and my pancakes, even though they're not done yet. They're most of the way done. Every time you, I cook, I cut my uh, my cooking, my cookware off a few minutes early because this, the the pots and pans still stay hot, guys. So it's going to continue to cook your food. And I learned that if I just like say it takes three minutes to scramble eggs, I learned if I leave my pot hot. If I leave my fire on for exactly three minutes, the food is good and it's done. But I notice like it be done to perfection if you cut your pots and pans off a few minutes early. I'm gonna tilt that like that old school to let that grease drain off my sausages. Okay, y'all. Time for the big reveal. My friend Mookie got me eating a uh, pepper on my eggs. My whole life I've been eating just salt. Yeah, I know. I like salt a lot. 
and she got me to pepper on my eggs to make them taste better with salt and pepper. Just my scrambled eggs, not my boiled eggs. I'm definitely not gonna eat all these. I wish I had some to share it with. This is a whole a, a whole banana too, guys. Honestly, this is uh, I think this one banana is good for two people. I just sliced up a whole banana and it took up like half of my plate. So for that, I think it's good to feed. It's definitely good to feed two people. I'm gonna eat as much as I can. So I'm about to plate this up. I'm about to move my damn arm so I won't accidentally burn myself. Give me a second, guys. I'm scared to do it right there, that burner hot as hell. My first mom told me, nope, I'm about to hurt myself, I'm about to burn myself. show you what I got. See? Got some pork sausage links. That's a that's one whole banana slice, not too thick, not too thin. Two scrambled eggs. I saw that banana uh, pancake recipe on TikTok. I think they called it uh, banana pancake, like banana silver dollar pancake. I'm renaming it Nana Cake. <laughs> okay. I ain't got time for all that. All right. All right, y'all. So, I definitely cannot end this video without trying it for you guys. Mm. Yes, put some syrup on it. <clears throat> uh -oh. I usually prefer to clean them dishes as soon as I finish cooking. I can't when it comes to stuff like this, pancakes and eggs. I won't do it, even though I hate having to wait to clean. Because your food gets too cold. And I don't like uh, like pancakes and eggs reheated in the microwave if I don't have to do it. That is really good. Mmm, yummy. The banana is... It almost tastes melted, but it's so good. You can't see it good. Mmm. I love it. Next time my people come through and they make the breakfast for the ones that eat bananas, I got y'all. Y'all gonna love this. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's eggs. <laughs> People be cutting up over my eggs, boy. They did die for it. They, they literally just melt in your mouth. People ask me all the time, how do I cook my eggs like that? I just add milk to it. I add... Um, I can't even tell you the exact amount, but I, I put enough milk where I can see it, and I don't, I don't, I don't beat it too long. I don't beat the eggs too long neither. I just beat it for a few seconds, and I add some extra milk, and then I scramble them on low heat. They so fluffy, I almost can't feel them in my mouth. <laughs> I almost can't feel them in my mouth. I can taste them though. Dang, it's good. Mm. 
I love my sausages well done. All of them. Ooh, special pork. That is so freaking good. I have to sit down and enjoy this. We'll go ahead and cut this camera off. It's like we get my OJ. It's chilling in the fridge. Thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget to do me a favor. Spread messages of love and positivity. All right? Be safe, y'all. Later, dudes. Mwah.